This holiday season comes oh a toy God. you'll simply <laughs> die for. Your new best friend is back with his signature stripes and lifelike eyes. This is wild, actually. Okay. This good guy is always ready for some fun. You'll want to keep an eye on him. You never know what trouble he'll get into next. That's this is actually so. If you lose wild. track of him, don't fret. Oh, it's a pallet. He'll always find his way Wait, back to you. That's kind of crazy, actually. Bro, Bring home your friends till the end. Of it. Cause if you don't, you're dead. You hear me? Shoot. Dead. Disassembly of parts. That's Body actually may be required. so guys is not sick. responsible for naming, dismemberment, so, amputation, laceration, strangulation, bodily I'm, harm, or death of any kind. Adult I'm very shocked by everything that it boils down to. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like everyone, okay, everyone has been talking conceptually about actually bringing Chucky into the game. Because I also had this conversation, like, years ago. I think it must have been when Xenobite got announced that we you know we looked at other potential movie killers that could come out and obviously there was this high idea like concept theorized about bringing in Chucky right that's really what it boiled down to and personally for me I just really wasn't sure about whether or not they could actually bring Chucky into the game because the thing about him that always didn't make sense was that he was small so the way that they can potentially like have him be carried uh, with survivors and then put them on the hook sort of thing, right? It it didn't really make sense on how to make it work. At least I didn't think so. So I wasn't too sure how to how to actually like portray it. In my mind, I figured that um, they did that thing where they said that oh you know he he drags him by the foot or something of the nature, right? And then as a result, he um would kind of hoist them up kind of you know with like a rope or something and then put them on the hook and then make that thing work i thought that's how it was going to actually work um i don't know if they've i mean we obviously haven't gotten any further details about how it works but i i'm so shocked that they actually brought chucky into the game because i just would have never i would have never actually imagined it to be possible i just knew that people have been talking about it for so long and he's probably one of the few movie franchises that everyone thought was possible, but just never really saw it be, like, be, be actually possible to, to bring to the game. But now he's finally here. I think that this is so sick. Now, I, in my mind, in my mind, I'd like to wager that he, I don't even know if he's like a, I'd want to say he's like a stealth killer to a degree. Um, but I don't, I don't have a clue, actually. Because it just him being small is already scary, you know. I can already I can already imagine the details for this is actually incredible. Him being small is is actually already like the the threat, if you will. Um, I don't know if I don't really think that they'll make him play in first person like the rest of the killers. I feel like he's gonna be like a really weird exception, but the fact that he just is his size in this, you actually get confirmation on that too, you know. Because you have the pallet right here, and the fact that he's actually crawling underneath the pallet, that means that that's his power. He basically has the ability to like, uh, like scamper or like crawl underneath pallets as a way to basically navigate around them. Kind of like how Legion vaults over them under the with the frenzy power. His power allows him to crawl under it, if you will. Now the other thing is that he. I, he kind of sort of has like a like a two personality situation if you've watched the films you know he's usually like really calm and chill and then he enters like this really badass mode and then goes nuts and 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 you can tell at the end of the trailer basically because he starts cursing at you about how you're you know gonna die and everything too so i feel like he that's like kind of like his his uh his mode if you will he i don't know if he can like change it on will per se but there's probably a way for him to like move on the faster scale of things and maybe even quietly and then when he is like pissed at you then he'll you know you can hear the terror radius and he'll chase after you and all that kind of stuff that's, that's kind of how i see it at least my problem though is the scurrying under the the pallet thing though um he'll he'll most likely be able to be hit with the pallet stun still and 
and but like at the same time it just feels it just feels so weird to me so i can tell you when when i first when i first personally concepted the idea of chucky coming to the game i basically said that he's going to be a killer that uh he can't necessarily like knife you in the back and actually do like a lot of damage right because he's like a he's like a he's a doll but what he can do is um it was a really bad idea so bear with me but instead of having two hits and then the first hit doing the injury into the down sort of thing um for him it was three the rate of being able to down a person was still uh the same so like even with chucky like three equaled two speed wise but uh because he was a doll and like weak you know size and everything that's why uh it was not as many hits necessarily to be able to like go for the kill if you will so i wasn't really too sure about them actually making that like the function but i mean it doesn't it doesn't make sense obviously right because why would they make it three hits but I, i thought that that's how it was um my other the other power that i thought that he had in mind was the bride which is a cosmetic that they've confirmed as well um i thought that you know he had a power where instead of taking the time to basically put the person on the hook by pressing spacebar sort of thing um he would just tell the bride to do it and then she would automatically hang them up on the on the hook while he basically leaves and goes continue on the on the killing which is actually like a like a time saver uh to a to a big degree if you will so if there was the opportunity to be able to you know actually put people on a hook without actually taking the animation or time to put them on the hook um it kind of turns him into like a little bit of like a speed killer if you will too so i mean my biggest thing and takeaway point from this is the fact that he can crawl underneath pallets i think that's a piece of information that's really vital to how his kit is going to function um now that being said i still don't i don't think that he's gonna either you know um like uh, like knife swing at your feet and do damage weekly right uh i think that he'll have a lunge basically i i kind of to, to make it more easier to like, kind of digest i think he'll have a lunge attack and because in the movie as well he kind of has that animation where you know it looks like somebody lifts up the doll and he has the knife and then he like you know magically jumps three feet in the air and then stabs you i think that's what it's going to be and they're going to play that movie trope into place as well so he's going to have a lunge attack it might be like a jumping lunge attack a little similar to victor's but the difference is that he doesn't uh you know like latch onto you he just kind of just hits you and then calls it a day basically that's kind of how i see it happening and and it makes a lot of sense uh when you put it into a realistic perspective on how dbd plays um now, I think what would be interesting is if they play on to the whole doll thing for him, where because he's a doll, um, they won't necessarily make his ability to drag the killer, or sorry, the survivors, uh, slower or weaker. But if his hang power, like the ability to hang on the hook, was it took longer because he's a doll, uh, I'd be very curious to see if they implemented that in any way, shape, and form. I don't really know, though, because, again, it's they could probably just play it very standard and keep his kit very simple. But I think with him, they can make him a very complicated killer by design and function and still make him really strong. Because, we, again, we don't even know what the perks are. We don't know what his kit works like. But, uh, you know, the fact is that he's very small in comparison to the entire cast. He's very small. And I think that, again, I think that's going to play it out too. Oh, November 28th is also when we'll find out more information, which I think is cool. So we'll see. But again, that being said, uh, for them to actually bring Chucky into this game is like, you know, I, I personally never actually thought that they were going to bring this killer in. So I think a lot of people have been theorizing it for a long time and they weren't too sure. I know that like FNAF was also like another idea for a while, but I, I just personally thought to myself that like, you know, it was going to be an original. That's what I thought. I thought it was an original killer. Um, even if we had alien prior, I just didn't really think that it was going to be Chucky. What I do hope though, is that with this whole, I don't, I don't think that this is a, um, a map that is any indication from a, from the game that we have already. So I'm hoping that this is also like a new map because I personally think that Chucky has incredible power to be a stealth killer. I think that if he's a stealth killer, 
uh, it'll actually be so cool because, you know, he's small and he kind of scampers around and he's he's almost like a little rat, you know what I mean? But like with a knife in it and then he's a doll. So for him to actually like navigate the way that he can would be would be actually insane. So I I really hope that they do that because in other maps as well, like Leary's and Midwitch and RPD and, you know, and, and now we have the new Stranger Things return or not new, but, you know, we have Stranger Things making a comeback. So in Hawkins lab as well, like I think that uh, he has extremely good capability of existing in indoor maps extremely strongly and he won't obviously they're not gonna take away the brevity of him in an outdoor map as well but an indoor map though i just feel like i'd be terrified of chucky basically i was scared of him as a kid but as i've gotten older i was it's like oh it's just like a doll like it's not that scary anymore but you know every kid was scared of chucky at some point at, at some point in their lives but we'll see how this plays out i'm really looking forward to this uh i hope i think the ptb is coming out soon if not, if not already i'd love to find out more about it so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy see you guys take care